definition of trance dance, well, it's pretty broad because there's so, I, I think any dance can be a trance dance. You can be in a nightclub, and if you're dancing, it can, if you're really dancing, you're going to go into a trance. You will, we can measure that on an EEG, that your brain waves will have shifted, your brain state will have shifted into a place that's more expansive. Anybody who's danced knows that. So trance dance really is a, just an intentional way of doing it. Sometimes there's specific kinds of dances, whatever, but just in general, the trance dance is just letting it happen, letting the drums and the rhythms and the beats and the grooves just do what they will with you. But trance itself is a, is a broad category for expanded states of awareness. So maybe a better way to think about it is the expanded states of awareness dance and the trance that comes with that. To create an album that includes and incorporates the ancient and the modern in every way possible with musical sensibilities of what dance is about, the grooves and the big bass drum and all of that coming through um, with the rattles and the didgeridoo and what I do, voices, shamanic carols, magical songs. It's certainly my own soul's calling in this at some level is that as I help provide a space, a sacred space, ceremonial, a ritual space for healing to happen, then I'm healed as a result. So it's a reciprocal energy. I would actually challenge somebody to listen to this album and sit still. I can't. In fact, when I'm mixing it, I'm having to get up and move and, you know, it's just, uh, it's too energized and it invites in a big way for the listener to get up, move, move into, move out of, whatever they're called to do. Uh, you can connect, there's a track on there, there's a song on there where it really invites you to connect with your own animal spirits and spirit helpers in that way. Uh, not specifically, but when you're listening to it, you'll know what's happening.